Hi everyone, so if you've read the title you will have gathered that this is going to be a book video. Some people are going to either find this really boring or interesting, but I just really really wanted to talk about books because ever since starting my new job I've took the train and as I've been by myself I've read a lot more because I do like to read on the train. So I've read waiting for the train, on the train, coming back on the train, sometimes at lunch. So what I thought I would do as like a little series is after every month I thought I would do a video of all the books I've read in that month and give it a little review, talk about them, tell you if you would like them. But as I start on the 11th, I'm going to do it, you know, from the 11th to the 11th, just so I can actually see how many I've read in a month. And I've been really impressed with myself because I have read four in a month, which I think is pretty good. <laughs> so what I thought I would do is talk to you about the books, give a little review, even though I'm really bad at giving reviews because I might not be the best in the world. <laughs> I'm just gonna get started with it and I hope you find it interesting and I hope you enjoy I hope you like the idea of this little series I'm gonna hopefully create. So just a heads up before I start, I do like kind of young adult and teen stuff so you might think these books and think that, that that's slightly young isn't it for a 20 year old but me and my mum we both love to read kind of young adult stuff and things that might be classed as young people, not like really young but you know, old teen, young adult. So just a heads up before we dive in. The first book I completed and finished was this one which is They Both They Both Die at the End and this is by Adam Silvera, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And apparently he's the best-selling author of History Is All You Left Me. So I might look that up, see if I like that. But if you've already read that, then you might be aware of this. Um, I'm quite bad. I don't know if I've said this, but I really love pretty book covers. I do judge a book by I do judge a book by its cover. Like if I see a book and I like the cover, I will pick it up and read the blurb, which is what it's like. So this is the cover for this one, it has a little hourglass is it, with two people, and then that's the back. Now this is, I don't really know what genre you'd call it, but basically the gist of it is they have a company called Deathcast and they call you up at like midnight to tell you that you're going to die in 24 hours. Now it sounds really like morbid and a bit, ooh, but it's not really really depressing or anything so basically it's based around two boys Mateo and Rufus which first of all they are very cute names like that's just so sweet and they are both very different from one another they're kind of like opposites attract type thing like one is really, really shy doesn't really get into trouble while the other one is a lot more um, <laughs> and gets into trouble and stuff um, but even though it's based around two people they have other people from both of their sides, like his friends, his their friend, you know, little snippets and little chapters. I'll show you what it looks like. So if you can read it. So it says Rufus and then it says the time because it is split, obviously, the book. So you know the story is based over 24 hours. Um so the author has done little snippets of some even people that you will only see once and that's it. And they do that, I think, just to create more of a substance to the story, to understand what other people are doing at different times. And it just kind of makes it more realistic, I think. Um, and it just helps create a bigger picture, really, of what's happening. Um, but even though, as I said, it's about death and, you know, the idea that you get called up to tell you when you're going to die, it kind of has some messages behind it, you know, being yourself, you know, get out of your comfort zone, because Mateo, I think, is the one who's a bit shy, and as it's your, you know when people say you live your life to the fullest and blah blah blah, blah he like really tries to do that, and because they meet up from like an app, 
and obviously push themselves to do other things. So that's all that I'm going to say for this book because I don't want to potentially spoil anything. I've had a few, a lot of books and films ruined for me by people spoiling who dies and all that stuff. So I thought I would try and leave it as basic as possible. Um, but I would recommend reading this. It's really good. And I might have to look up the other story. Next is a book who, which I think is a lot more of a young adult one is this one which is the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children now this is like a really popular one it's now a film but after reading it and watching the film's trailer it does look like it's more of an, an adaption um, like it's not exactly the same it seems but the reason why I wanted to read this was when I went to Ecuador, Kat, who was one of the girls there, she actually brought this with her and was reading it and I thought, whoa, that looks really interesting. So I thought I would buy it. So this is the first one. It has a three-part series, I think, and I really I want to buy the second one. I've just bought other books before I read the sequels. But this is the front cover. It has one of the pictures of a levitating girl. So I think this is like a fantasy mystery genre, I'm not 100% sure, certain. This one did take me longer to read because it has quite small writing and the chapters are really long. I normally like to read a chapter in one go and then stop or you know like when I'm waiting for the train I like to end on a chapter so then start a new chapter when I start again but these were really long chapters like the end, one of the end chapters was like this this long and you think annoying uh, but one of the um, things that makes this book different and maybe kind of why it's so popular is it has pictures in it like them and these pictures at the back it says that these pictures were found by random people from charity shops from houses from uh, you know weird places and apparently are they're apparently real who knows but the one thing i don't like about the pictures is that they sometimes don't really match what they're saying like there's this one and they say oh he was sleeping with a gun or like he's always ha he always has his gun there by his bed but he li it's just like a literally a man sleeping like it doesn't they don't really match that well they kind of just feel like the author has got the pictures and he is really trying to fit them in some of them are really good um like ones about the kids and stuff but some of them eh. That is just my own opinion though, but they are interesting to have to correspond with it because they are very peculiar people and seeing the picture helps you maybe visualise it more. Um, but yeah, just some of them I just don't think are needed, really. And as this is part of a three three part series, this one doesn't really end. Like, it has kind of the big part of the ending but then you know at the end it doesn't really finish um which is quite good because it's kind of like a cliffhanger and it makes you think "Ooh, i need to buy the the second one now see what happens so that is quite good but just so you aware it doesn't have a definite this is the end type thing but yeah i really like this and i found it really really interesting and you know those bits in it you think ooh that, that's what happens and things like that is really cool and you kind of don't know how it's going to turn out type thing which is always good in a book so that is this book and hopefully I'll buy the second one next one which this is my favourite one I've read out of the four and it is One of Us Is Lying by Karen M. McManus so here it is um, this is like a murder mystery type thing for young adults and teens I think and I whenever I really like a book I always look up the author to see if they have any more and she doesn't really have any books but she has one coming out in February 2019 so when that comes out I'll have to buy it because I really loved her writing style it's just so interesting a bit like in 
they both die at the end. That kind of the weird chapters where you kind of only maybe have like a page on one person just to add more because basically it's kind of like a murder mystery so any of them could have you know killed this person and it's it's separated into like days and times so they have like maybe a teeny little chapter on one of the characters and then they'll have a teeny little chapter on the other character at the same with the same time so you can picture what's happening and maybe you can picture who you think is the killer who I, I got it right. That said though, even though I kind of roughly knew who did it, it still is very interesting and you think, oh maybe I might be wrong there, I might be wrong. So I really really liked it um, and I thought it was really well written and my mum actually, I told my mum about it and she read it and she also thought it was well written too so bonus two from good reviews from two people um the collection of characters though reminds me straight away it reminds me of the breakfast club because you know it has a geek a jock a criminal a princess that's basically what they have in the breakfast club except for there's one more in the breakfast club and in this film um in this book they kind of you know become closer together again like in the breakfast club they kind of become more friendly or friends uh, so it's very similar to that which when I'm reading it some of the characters I picture like for them to look I sometimes picture them as the breakfast club people if that makes any sense like when I'm reading about someone I'm like oh yeah that's what they look like it's a bit weird <laughs> and yeah so I really recommend this book because I really enjoyed reading it I thought it was very interesting. Also it has red pages which is awesome. <laughs> so the final one which out of all of them wasn't my favourite um, it's this one called Boy Underwater by Adam Barron. This one was like on its own shelf and it because it had won an award or something but this one I feel is very more to like teenagers or even younger than teenagers it's very kind of written in a childish way a little bit like the actual character because the actual character is like five years old or something so it is re wrote as it is him but for me I just didn't like it that much I found it a bit too childishy so it wasn't my absolute faith but the cover is really pretty and even though I've said that it did have a really good storyline, like his mom I think has a bit of a mental issue, like you know, mental um, illness, so I would. Um, so obviously that is a bit more of like a more adulty subject, but maybe they're trying to add it in to teach younger kids, maybe? But the storyline was really really good and you kind of didn't know how it was going to end, or you didn't know what was up, what was wrong, you kind of... It was quite a good storyline for such a young audience and for, like a, for it to be written in that way. So yeah, it was really good. I just didn't like how it was written. It wasn't my favourite. And I did actually finish this really quickly. I'm not a fast reader, um, but I finished this in like four days or something, which for me that's quite good. So that is all the books for this month. So I hope you enjoyed my kind of mini reviews. They're not amazing, but I just wanted to explain to you them and you potentially might want to put them up yourself. If any of you have good books for me to read, then comment down below. I have actually bought four or five new books, which I will be reading, not all of them, because I've already read one book so far, because um, I'm getting back into some older books, which I'll have to tell you about when I do my next video. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit different, um, but I really wanted to do it. And I hope you will enjoy this series that is gonna come. So I hope you have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!